There is unfortunately no standard technique to reconstruct or repair botched inner labia. There is a huge variety of deformities that we see, frayed wound edges, holes and whatever. But the biggest deformity that we see is the so-called small penis deformity, where there's taken away too much of the inner labia below the clitoris, while not enough was taken away around and above the clitoris and the clitoris stands out a little, what we call clitoral protrusion and this is called the small penis deformity. All reconstruction possibilities I have published in the year um, 2021 in, um, in the Journal for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery under the name Labia Minor Repair but I would like to show you with a little drawing how the reconstruction is performed and afterwards you have the possibility of again seeing everything in a little better um, <clears throat> made animation in the video. In many cases it looks like this. This is the clitoris, this is the midline, the vaginal entry and here is the rest of the inner labia and in most cases it is cut up too short below the clitoris not even um, smooth wound edges, but frayed wound edges. These are the outer, outer labias and this is the clitoral hood. So uh, most patients complain about this result. A lot too much tissue around the clitoris, clitoris sticking out, out and here's too much taken away below the clitoris. So how do we do this? We reconstruct this area by this area and we draw the midline here like this and then this part of tissue, this part of inner labia that is above the clitoris will then be rotated downward and it will be then fitted in the, where the um, amputated inner labias are and then finally this point comes down here in a rotation and then you end up in a in a picture that looks like this, reconstructed inner labias, this what is too much above the clitoris is removed and the clitoris then also will be pulled downward a little but then you have a natural beautiful result. And how it works directly and more, more precise we have the possibility of watching this in a small animation. The most common mistake in labia reduction surgery is when the section below the clitoris is shortened too much, leaving excess tissue above the clitoris. This causes the appearance of a small penis, which is aesthetically unpleasing. If the labia below the clitoris have been excessively shortened, they can be reconstructed from the excess tissue above the clitoris. First, the remaining labia seam is smoothed. Then, above the clitoris, two lateral elongated lobes are cut around the clitoris, then folded down and finally fitted to the side of the vaginal entrance. This procedure reconstructs labia that have been excessively shortened and at the same time reduces and tightens the area above the clitoris. 